Talk to me nice Talk to me honestly Look in my eyes Don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy Make me believe it Welcome back to my channel I'm so excited This is video number two That I have for you guys That's It's only been like a week or so So I'm excited I'm really pushing these videos out but like always we're gonna start by cleaning off the face and jumping right into the brows so for the brows i went in with benefit precisely my brow in the shade 4.75 and i'm just basically following her natural shape um her natural eyebrow shape to get that that look now i go back and forth between eyebrows so like i won't complete the entire brow on one side I'll go on the other side just to see how that side is shaped because we all know eyebrows aren't twins. They're more like sisters. So, yeah. So, I try to get the brows to match as close as possible. But the best part about doing brows is taking concealer and kind of shaping it to how you would want it to be. So, in case you make it like a mistake or you overdrawn you can kind of take that concealer and kind of erase it or shape it how you want so i'm using my la girl concealer in fawn to do so and i also bring that concealer down to um, the middle of her eye to use as a base so now in addition to that base i'm using my p louise base <laughs> in the shade um i believe it's four and i'm using that all over the lid i'm just patting it out with a blending brush if i do remember the name of the blending brush i'll make sure to put it down below for that i went into the jackie Ina palette ginger and edges i kind of mix those two colors together just so i can create a smooth transition shade and i'm just using a blending brush for that Right after that, I went into this new palette that's new to my kit. It's called Saint and Sinners, and it's from Percy Looks. Uh, I actually know the owner. Her name is Sarah. She's such a nice person, uh, very sweet, very humble. And her palette is extremely pigmented. I'm talking about color payoff with one like dip of the brush so i took that maroon shade and then i went in with this kind of rose gold shade from the inner corner to the entire lid or up to that um purple maroon and i'm just packing everything in blending 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 making sure everything is completely seamless Next, I'm going to use a big wig from the Jackie Ina palette to help deepen out that outer corner. And I'm just blending that in halfway through the eye. And then I'm going to blend out the transition a little bit just to make sure everything is seamless. Right after that, I'll go in with my micellar water to help clean out any fallout that I might have gotten. Next, I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Enrich Vitamin Moisturizer. I'm going to use that all over the face. I'm using a flat brush to help um, just apply that, pushing that into the skin. And then I will go in her T-Zone areas with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer just to help mattify her oily areas. Next, we're going to go in with foundation, and I took my NARS Radiant Foundation in Macau and Marquesas. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Marquesas. And I mix those two together, and I'm blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Now, I love this foundation. It is um, lightweight. It is a medium to full coverage foundation that gives you a long wear. But the best part about it, it gives you more of a natural finish. So, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. 
for concealer and contour i used fenty beauty's contour stick and then i also went in with la girls fawn uh, the same concealer that i used for underneath the eye mixed in with a little bit of p louise base Now I'm setting underneath the eye and the other highlighted areas with a Sasha Buttercup powder in Buttercup and I also mix a little bit of light. So I tried the new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte uh, Pro Filter Foundation to set the areas where I did not highlight uh, to basically set the foundation. And you know, I kind of like the end result of it, how um, it does give a blur effect, a smooth finish. But I'm curious, have you tried it? Do you like it? Are you adding it to your kit for your clients or for yourself? Uh, let me know down below. Here I'm just using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Powder Kit and then I went in with my Juvia's Place Blush Palette. So I ended up just taking translucent powder to carve out the contour and went in back to my Prissy Looks palette with that darker shade. It's like a, almost like a black shade and just defined the outer line. Went in with my gel from Inglot to align her uh, waterline and then just smoked it out with the same colors that I used from the top. Now the lashes that I'm using are from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. I'm just giving her a little bit more volume. She does have on um, individual lashes, so I didn't want to go too close to them so that it doesn't cause any irritations or any fallout of the lashes. to thank you if you made it this far to the video then thank you so much for staying and watching this transformation happen uh like i said i'm so excited to be bringing more content for you guys and i'm actually open to any um questions or like a q a if you guys want me to do that i can do so too i don't even think i've like fully introduced myself on my channel so maybe i should do like a welcome q a i don't know well you just let me know down below if you have any questions you want me to answer i'll be happy to answer them so for liner i'm using half red by mac and then i just added some gloss from milani on top highlight i'm using my pro hd 
palette from um, Makeup Revolution. And that's pretty much it. I'm hoping that you guys love the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, leave, you know, a thumbs up for more videos. And yeah, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Girl. Like it. I'm about to cry. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm crying. Let me just take a quick picture. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly.